last night I did this elliptical reverse spring here on the front of the rat rod and it kind of works um, I cut a groove in both sides of the axle thinking the leaf would have a little room to flex and it would stop and it does that but after driving and moving one side pops out and it's completely useless um, just because the length of the radius arms on the front end are so long there's no way to, to really make it that stable so <clears throat> trying to brainstorm some different ideas had a lot of uh, helpful comments on the other video last night um, I, like I mentioned, I've, uh, Cyanide Tube redid his, and he made a, a shackle type setup, but that's not going to work on mine. And the reason being is that it, my axle is narrower, his axle is custom made, it's much wider, and he bought the uh, short wheel base TF2 leaf springs, which are with the eyelets about as long as what we have here. <clears throat> so even that being shorter is still going to I'm not going to have the room between the drop angles to allow for it to fully function. So the shackle idea is out the window and I've come up with another idea here. And this was another comment talking about, uh, sorry guys I don't remember the names, I'm, I apologize, but and a lot of uh, a lot of good advice and a lot of good uh, tips from you guys out there and I really appreciate it. As soon as I read it I, I envisioned this right here, I can get, forget the camera to focus. So these are those little aluminum spacers off of TAO2 steering link that I had drilled out to try to mount my bed with earlier. And uh, they weren't going to work, so they were sitting here. I cut them down at an angle, um, and I'm going to mount my leaf spring to that through the axle. So the axle is going to be, if I find something to point with, right here. I'm going to have a bolt come up through the leaf spring. And the first thing I'm going to say is that's not going to work either because your leaf spring is going to be locked. Now the trick is, and it's going to be a trick to do, the top of the leaf spring I'm going to cut a groove, not a hole. It's going to be a, a slit basically so that it can move back and forth two, three millimeters on the bolt that's bolted through the axle. And I'm going to have to shorten the leaf springs a little bit just to fit between the axle drop ends that way it has room to move in and out from the sides and not not bind up against the axle so this is going to be a delicate balance of eyeball engineering um so first thing i gotta do i guess i'm going to remove the leaf ring that's on there that leaf pack and start looking at where i need to drill holes on the axle where i can drill holes on the axle and they obviously need to be as far out as possible for better, for more travel. I can't drill a hole here and here, and that way only this much of the spring is going to actually provide cushion. It really needs to be out here. Now the problem with that is this is already drilled out all the way through, and I have my radius arms mounted through there. Now the, where the spring sits in relation to the axle, that could be on the outer edge of it but I don't know yet how much room I've actually got in there I may have to shorten the rod ends that are holding the radius arms in so it's gonna be quite an undertaking but it's uh hopefully it's gonna keep the leaf in the same location because that's that's something I didn't want to change I don't want my leaf spring really high if I was gonna do a functioning shackle setup I would have to mount the ends of the leaf up here and the leaf would be really really high and that, that might still look cool, but once we get a grill on there, that's, I mean, you don't want your leaf spring sticking up all the way, almost to the top of the grill. I'm trying to keep it as low profile as possible. We've already got the mount in place, so. Um, it, it would be possible to flip the leaf spring to the top side of the mount. We might explore that option as we get further into this. But I think I'm going to end up making my own leaf pack out of just spare leaves so I can get everything the right length I need. I really don't need but one leaf on there for actual function. But it's going to look better having a couple. <laughs> it's just going to look more scale. So I'm going to start taking that stuff off and we'll see where this leads us. So 
wheels will work in a little bit. Here's where I'm at. I went ahead and used my other new axle instead of trying to strip the old one down to drill it out. Uh, it's all mounted up and it's completely crooked. And the reason being, these spacers I used here were larger diameter inside, so they're sliding all over the place. I can't keep them straight. Um, so I've got to come up with another alternative to this spacer. And in turn, this th adjusting this length here will also allow me to adjust my ride height in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen these up and try to find something else. I'm running out of the... Uh, like suspension spacers and stuff and I'm having a hard time finding a place to buy those in bulk I don't want to pay ten dollars for a handful and I could probably pay fifteen for a hundred somewhere but I hadn't found them yet so I'm gonna take that all apart again and try to come up with a better solution something that'll fit that bolt a little tighter and give us a much better look sitting there straight but it does work Because it's just enough. That side may be a little tight. I hate having the nut on top too. It really looks icky. But we'll just have to see. It's still all in development. It's taking a long time. I think I'm. I think it works. Um, I've got the rear jacked up here because it ended up setting lower, but it's given me just barely any suspension movement at all. There's really no need for shocks, but I, I, you know you got to have some just for the look. Um, I've had some of those 118th scale RC four wheel drive shocks for a very long time. Um, I just don't know where I put them at the moment, but I have been thinking about those since the first rat rod build. They're probably about the only thing that would look right up here. I left these bolts long facing up. I, I don't know, maybe one day headlight mounts or something. But the reason I have the, the rear jacked up is because with it laid down, we're back to barely clearing. So you're not going to be able to see the suspension move at all. But that's, it kind of plays into my idea here of having a, a putting a servo lift on the rear. That way you can raise the back up a little clear everything and then your front can travel like it needs to and move around so that's that's my thinking right now we'll see how it all plays out but it's straight the ride height is good and uh yeah <laughs> it's been men here messing around for too long it's on this one thing so it's keeping the front end nice and stiff side to side so let me put everything kind of back together you can see i think it looks pretty cool i think it looks pretty good once I, I cut the bolts down. <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking that maybe headlight mounts for that. I, I don't know. And uh, I've got extra one of these grills. It's going to have to be modified. Knocked down a little bit. That's the only option I've got right now for a grill. I don't have any other um, parts handy. Any other model parts or stuff like that. Grills are kind of hard to find. So uh, I'm not sure if I'd want to run that. Straight up and down. I'd have to cut a good bit of it off. We'll just have to see how, once we get the motor all back together in the end, get all the accessories and stuff back on it. We'll see how much room we actually have to play with. It'd be good right there because it won't interfere with the steering. So that would uh, be handy. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, yeah. Uh, thanks for everybody's input. And uh, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. And uh, see what we can come up with next. See you all in the next video.